before we set up the boundary condition, we need to insert a uh, name selection. Again, select this boundary. Click on apply. Change the name to boundary. As we are modeling uh, nonlinear problems and uh, it involves large deformation, so change the large deflection to on. Also turn on the auto time stepping. Change the initial sub step to be 20. This change will make sure that every step of calculation is not that big. And then the, to make sure that the solution is converged. Now let's set up the boundary condition. This side is connected, connected to rigid body, so it should be fixed. And then we need to insert a pressure boundary condition, which is the norm traction on this boundary. And it's actually a linear elastic crack solution, so it's a function. Um, change the coordinate system to be polar coordinate system. The magnitude of this uh, normal traction boundary condition based on linear elastic crack solution is minus 1000 times and then multiply with 10 to divide the whole calculation into a lot of steps. Now we need to define the shear boundary condition. Go to setup and then transfer data to new mechanical ADP APDL. Update the setup. And then right click on analysis. Go to IDT Mechanical APDL. Select Functions. Define. So now we need to define the shear boundary function. And the coordinate system should be 12, which is polar coordinate system. And the unit should be degree. The function should be minus 1000 times. Also, we need to multiply with 10. And then save it to... And then close it. Now, go to parameter and read it. Change the name to tau and uh, the coordinate system is tau. The equation is cracked, so let's click OK. And then from list file, slog file, we can get the generated code for this function. And then copy it. Close out the windows. Go back to setup. And uh, insert a command. Paste the code. Now we have the function of the shear boundary condition. 
but we need to define this function at the boundary so we need to select all the elements on the boundary and we can use this kind of code many of all this command can be checked in the help menu 